welcome viewers in this three stage of video we are going to do design of 220 kv transmission line tower using robot structural analysis in this we are going to use indian standard so this is a first stage of three in this stage we are going to discuss about the load application to model so we already calculated the load and we had uploaded some seven stage of videos which are explaining the how to calculate the load of transmission line towers using is802 transmission line tower code and also there is another three stage of video which is explaining how to create a 220 kv double circuit transmission line tower model in autodesk robot structural analysis so all the links for those videos are given in the description you can look into that descriptions to find those videos which are relevant to this design of 220 kv double circuit transmission line tower design using autodesk robot structural analysis so let me go into that model view you can see in the left hand side an excel calculation which we had done in our previous video with the seven stages I start from that input electromechanical input climate loads temperature sag tension calculation for conductor and earth wire reliability load combinations security and safety load combinations we had calculated up to this load trees we had done in our seven stage of earlier videos now in this video we are going to do a design with the model so in the right hand side you can see a robot structural model which is a 220 kv double circuit transmission line tower so with this this model also we had created in our previous video with the three stages so now we are going to apply this all the loads to this model so that we can able to design the member and the connection so before going to apply the loads we need to check the unit of measurement if you see here you can go to that tools click job preference in that units forces if you go it is showing kilonewton but all our calculation we done is in kg so we can convert this into kg also the moment also we can convert it into kg kg meter and for stresses also we can convert this into kg per meter square save current parameter as the default and design code we already selected indian code yes and steel grade we can give it as 350 design code or indian code we had selected already so for steel connection i think in steel connection there is no indian standard anyhow we are going to do manually only so no need to give any codes and the remaining materials and the geotechnical code we no need to give anything and we can save current parameter and click yes okay now go to tools load loads load types in that first load we can give it as a self weight in short sw so it is a dead load case and self weight we are typing here as a load type so it is a, this is a self weight on structure so we are adding this so you can see here all the members are showing highlighted in uh, red color it means the self weight is applied you can also check in this table format loads and uh, load table you can see here it is a self weight which is assigned to list of members 1 to 440 and here you can see it is a whole structure it is mentioned so it means in all the structure the vertical self weight down it is a minus is set which is applied under factor 1 so now we are going to apply wind loads 
go to loads select wind loads simulation and select generate wind loads so here x plus means it is here positive longitudinal directional wind the most critical in this transmission line wind is transverse direction wind because only in the transverse direction we can able to find more wind pressure due to the conductor span and the earth wire span so whenever the wind is perpendicular to the conductor and earth wire we will be getting more wind pressure on tower so we need to select only the transverse wind so for wind pressure we need to check our calculation in the left hand side you can see that excel calculation which we have calculated here you can see here it is mentioned as 521 kg per meter square as a transverse wind so we can directly apply the value here so it is 521 so we had entered now 521 kg per meter square here and also we got selected the transverse directions and coming to here elements it is 1 to 440 only and here we need to deselect here because this openings in panels closed for the wind flow this is applicable mainly for the structure with the cladding so in our transmission line tower we don't have any cladding system so we can deselect this because it is a open structure and coming to here automatic uh, uh, simulation we can do it with 0.5% deviation so this we need to give even in order to reduce the calculation and uh, with the less approximation if you record we can go for 1% also it's depend upon us the designer so here we can have it as 0.5% and click start now the simulation is in process so you can see here the process status here and also you can see the screen window which is showing the simulation activities so here in the right hand side table you can see this is a deviation percent if this deviation percent reaches 0.5 percent then this simulation will stop so that is a process of wind simulation in a robot structure analysis so you can also see here in the window the simulation process how it is playing so it is considering a whole box to the structure to that width and height now it is applying the wind simulation and it is ranging some ups and down which are showing in red color if it is reach less than 0.5 then it will go in a green color so now you can see here it is showing that wind simulation completed and the load cases is 2 so here you can see here so this pop up window will come once after the simulation is completed and we need to click okay and you can see the profile also here and other parameters if you want you can check it here so now we can close this so now you can find here the wind forces so sometimes this load will not shown for that we need to click right button in the mouse and select display and inside that display data we need to select this two ticks load symbols and load values click apply so that we can able to see the a pressure applied on the structure so if you don't want the values you can deselect it so that we can see the map or a, a pressure diagram of the wind on structure so now we can apply other loads on conductor and earth wire 
so for applying the conductor loads we need this uh, excel calculation so here 1 and 2 is a load cases for self weight of the tower and wind transverse wind of the tower 11 and 12 are the reliability level we already discussed this in that uh, load calculation videos so this is a load tree so the green color cells are meaning that reliability load cases so rl1 is a symbol we are going to represent uh, the reliability load in no conductor deviation rl2 is with the conductor deviation so you can also give any other name also next from 21 to 44 is a security load cases so for that broken wire condition ground broken wire with two side no conductor deviation ground broken two side with conductor deviation so we can have a symbol or load case icon as p g w b means broken g w means ground wire 2 in the 21 is representing the two side broken and 1 means no conductor deviation 2 means with conductor deviation so similar if you look into that next 23 and 24 load cases broken ground wire one side no conductor deviation broken ground wire one side with conductor deviation similar like 25 is broken top conductor two side no conductor deviation broken top conductor two side with conductor deviation so likewise we need to have all the load cases with the explanation notes and the short name or load case icon this is a load case id so up to here it is a security load combination and here it is a safety load combination so safety load combination we are having both uh, normal condition and broken wire condition you can see here in this load tree so here it is starting from 51 safety load cases normal conditions are there two normal conditions one is no deviation another one is with the deviation conductor deviation so here we are keeping as yes stand for sting so normal condition no conductor means SNC 1 and SNC 2 means normal condition with conductor deviation similar like SGW means string of ground wire 2 means 2 side and 1 means no conductor deviation so SGW again it is a ground wire string in two side with the conductor deviation so you can also keep uh, whatever the relevant uh, name in this it is not a fixed one you can keep anything as per your wish so now we are going to apply this uh, load type into our robot structural model so this is a robot model so in this go to loads load type we already defined self weight of the tower and wind transverse wind on tower now we need to define other conductor loads select live load here you can select any load that is not an issue because we are not going to give any automatic load combination here in this transmission line tower design we are going to give all the combination in manual so no need to worry about this type selection nature of load selection so as per our excel calculation you can see that 11th load cases is a reliability load case for no conductor deviation so the load label also we can give it as same as per excel and load definition or name we can give it as no conductor deviation 
or you can give reliability so likewise uh, we need to give all the load type here which are listed in this excel sheet so there is also another option instead of uh, doing this copy paste from excel there is also one quick method is there so let me see that so up to 21 we had created by this uh, method next uh, we will check the possibility of other method go to loads load table in this we need to select this cases you can see 1 2 11 12 and 21 which we got created from that excel calculation so we need to make our calculation which should be have the column like this say for example this yes row can mention as case and label so likewise we need to make it here so we had made uh, the column same as uh, robot uh, table model so you can see here case label case name nature and uh, analysis type let me check uh, whether this is working good so we can just uh, copy paste this uh, security load cases from 21 to 44 and I am keeping my cursor here and pressing Ctrl V in keyboard it's taking time yes you can see here the load case 21 to 44 is applied here and keep again here in the 44 and copy from 44 to remaining safety load cases so still it is working so likewise we can do it in short instead of uh, doing the conventional method so we can directly copy paste from excel so also you can find all the load cases are mentioned here you can also check the load cases in this list so in that load list you can find all the load cases as per the excel calculation which are added now so now we are going to apply the loads with respect to the load type so to apply the conductor loads uh, we need to make a summary sheet based upon our earlier calculation so in this summary sheet you can see that security load uh, there are two varieties one is uh, no conductor deviation another one is with conductor deviation so similar case is applicable for uh, safety load cases also so under that uh, security and safety with uh, no and with uh, conductor deviation there are also other four parameters like uh, normal ground wire broken ground wire normal conductor and broken conductor so with this uh, we need to make a summary like f of x f of y and f of z whereas f of z should be multiplied with a minus so that all the forces are in downward so these values uh, we can take from our earlier calculation sheet of respective load calculation and the combinations so after arriving this summary and we already having this load tree so we can directly apply this load values in the robot structural model so for that go to that robot structural model you can select a node numbers here in the bottom menu so that you can see that which node is suitable for earth wire and conductor fixing so here 17 and 18 are the earth wire fixing node and from 19 
to 24 those are for conductor fixing nodes 19 and 20 are the top arm 21 and 22 is the middle arm and 23 and 24 are the bottom arm so after observing this go to loads click load table so these are the load already stared already sorry robot structural model is generated the dead load and wind load that is transverse wind so now we need to go to the bottom of this load list and select here the 11th load case which we had mentioned as a reliability in that all the forces are only nodal so we can select node so before doing that we can also make a window tile horizontal so that both model window and load table are visible so once after selecting this node force we need to find out what are the nodes which are connecting earth wire so here 17 and 18 are the earth wire nodes so for forces we need to look into the, our load tree so under normal condition for reliability loads f of x for earth wire is 0 and f of y is 814 and f of z is 128 so we are going to enter the here so similar like for the same load case number 11 we need to apply for conductors so conductor we know that node point are 19 to 24 so you can see in the model and the force value are common in all the nodes like for example f of x is 0 in the top bottom and middle and f of y is 2243 2243 for all the nodes all the conductor nodes and f of z is 881 so that we are going to apply here But in F of Z, we need to enter minus value. So now you can see this uh, load view. So load values are so shown here. Suppose the load values are not visible. We need to click display. We need to right click on the window and click display. Go to loads. Click this load symbol and load values and apply so you can able to see those so likewise you need to we need to apply other load cases also for 12 so if you see here if you are drop down and find out there are lot of load cases nearly 52 load cases we need to add for conductor load but this is more difficult and more complicated I can say it will take more time consuming task luckily and fortunately we are having in a robot structure there is another one method alternative method instead of doing one by one this calculation but we need to do it in excel calculation a big table like this and after carefully doing all this in one single time we need to copy paste this into that table format in robot structure see these are the load table which are developed for robot input so to develop this load table it will take hardly two hours so let me explain that how it will take only two hours so this table I'm just copying and keeping this my cursor in the last created last or just before created 11th load and just I am pressing control V that is paste in my keyboard so now you can see all the loads are copy paste here from the Excel so we can zoom it 
you can and see so for the quick review we can check any of the load case with our load tree if it is matching or not so let we select this 76th load case and here you can see one side of all the conductor are having f of x 1020 f of y 195 and f of z is minus 1881 so here you can see so these are matching here in the right hand side you can see 195 f of y and f of x is 0 and f of z is 2272 so similar like if you check that earth wire also the values are matching so we can also check for normal condition in a random basis like for example case number 51 for safety loads so only f of z we are having here for conductors 2272 minus which is a downward and for earth wire it is 257 so this is all the easy method to apply the conductor loads with a using excel calculation and table so quickly we will look into that excel table how we had easily we can make it so first this b column it is linked to this formula linked to this r column which are equal to that r column what is that r column is it is nothing but this we already explained so this case into case name so this is what all about this uh, r column and this normal condition used to have always two row of same load cases say for example if it is a 11 load cases only two it will come so reliability level are marked in green color so this reliability level remain same for two rows one row is for earth wire node another one is is for conductor so this is applicable for same 12 load case also only thing this is a reliability with no conductor tension this is reliability normal with conductor deviation and this is cx is a movement about uh, x movement about y movement about z all the nodal value we are going to apply only the forces there is no movement so this values are common to all the load cases all the 52 load cases which we are going to apply on conductor so we, you can directly copy and feed into all the rows in h to n column so this p column is a input value for the d column d column is directly equal to the p column so here only we need to carefully feed the input which are the node applicable for broken earth wire normal earth wire broken conductor and normal conductor according to the case and this f of x is directly for reliability case alone it is directly linked to that load tree because the reliability load case are very simple we need to apply all the values for for example if it is a conductor for all the six node are same force we are going to apply f of x f of y and f of z are same similar like for earth wire on both right and left side we are going to apply the same value so we can directly take from this f of x f of y according to that no conductor deviation or with conductor deviation from the load tree but for security cases and safety cases we are already having the summary here under various cases like with deviation without deviation conductor broken or normal 
and uh, similar like for earth wire it is normal or broken so this value we need we are going to link we need to link with this in f of x f of y f of z according to that conditions say for example this broken wire are marked in the red color so these are for conductor middle so these are for earth wire in the top so here the node number also we need to update accordingly so in this case two side earth wire are broken so we are having 17 and 18 node are linked here but in this case if you are talking means it is a one side earth wire is broken so if you look into that load tree you can understand so this is a load case number 23 so here one side only broken so only 17 node is a broken and 18 is not broken a normal earth wire so similar like if you are looking into this this load case top conductor so 19 and 20 are the top conductor in two side so except 19 and 20 remaining all should come as a normal conduct so in this force also will vary according to that so this is a broken wire forces conductor so similar approach for safety loads also like normal condition ground wire broken ground wire normal so same kind of things here that node number remains same as per the security load except in the normal condition so we can directly copy paste this node which are starting from this row number 10 until this row number 79 and directly copy and paste it here for broken wire condition so both are remain same so likewise we can simplify this excel calculation so we can go to loads and click here manual combinations we can consider first load combination as 101 always it is in uls only ultimate limits state so for load definition we can copy from here reliability load cases no de conductor deviation so we can directly copy paste here and in this we need to define the factor so here dead load cases also click this factor definition the dead load factor which we got discussed in our previous video we need to consider only 1.07 for all the dead load live load live load means it is a conductor tension 0.1.07 so this will vary according to that project specifications and the customer requirement but in general as per is 802 part 1 section 2 it is mentioned that we need to consider 1.05 addition to that 1.0205 so multiplying those two it is 1.07 we need to consider as a load factor in case of ultimate uh, limit state of method so we have done that and uh, we know that in uh, 101 we need to add wind also as per the load trees if you see here for the reliability load condition under load case number 101 101 means it is a reliability level normal condition without deviation so in that we are having wind load as per this suspension tower calculation so we can add this is self weight wind and load case number 11 so that with a factor 1.05 so you can give apply doing one by one like this we are having alternate and simple method if you are having a excel calculation so we can close this let we look into that alternative method which is very simple like our load application earlier so go to loads click combination table so here you can see already there are two Uh, combinations which we had created 101 and 102 
so in the bottom you need to click edit so now you can see this editable table so you will be having 152 load cases so here also in the excel calculation also you can see 152 cases so just copy and paste and all the factors also available here so we know that how to do it in calculation excel calculation let we see so here we know that the load combination we are starting from 101 because we are already having load case 76 up to number for primary loads alone so if it is going to combine with the dead load wind load and the ten conductor tension so we must care about it it should be that load combination number should not messed up with this primary cases so we are just starting from 101 so 101 to 152 is a load combination we are just having so this number of combinations we can find out to from this load cases which we had calculated that is in the load summary 52 number of load cases will come so 101 if it is start means it will end at 152 so we can name it this load combination as reliability no conductor deviation reliability with conductor deviation as per our wish we can have it so scc means it is a security load combinations and saf means it is a safety load combination so likewise we need to enter similar like the table which is having in a robot structure so robot structure if you are seeing is it is a combinations name case and coefficient so this case means representing the primary loads like dead load self weight and conductor tension which we had calculated earlier so this factor we already discussed that it should be 1.07 for ultimate limit state and this combinations so here we can directly link to this s column so this is equal to Uh, yes column this case first case will be it is like a conductor tension we are adding directly then self weight is applicable for all the case but in some cases some type of tower there may be some no self weight cases so in that we need to identify and we need to select the exact load combinations and primary parameters which are required and the next one is for the this case uh, reliability cases we are also having a wind a transverse wind so that wind we had already defined in that robot uh, as a second case or as uh, first case is dead load or self weight so and uh, security cases for suspension tower we don't have any wind so you can see here in the table uh, load tree so there is no wind wind or wind on tower is not applicable there is no transverse wind in uh, suspension tower so all are zero and for safety condition we don't consider any wind as per is 802 so you can see here in this class uh, 12.1.3 no wind loads on towers conductor ground wire and insulator shall be considered So that's all with this stage one. Thank you for watching. Look at description for more related video. Subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you.